the Maverick apps, inside the content, inside the share support. So I'll install uh, ESD and reuse 7-zip to extract to a folder called install.esd. Okay. All right, so now inside of ESD, we also have another ESD. So we're going to extract this one again. So this one's going to take a while, too. All right, so inside of 3FS, Not install now this package right here we need to take it out and the base system right here we need to also extract it all right the package is out now we need to do this one the base system Now this is a 3FS right here. So we want to take this one outside. So let's put these two into 10, 9, 2. Okay. So we don't get mixed up. Okay. So now we have both of these in here. So I'm going to show you this one now. It's really good. So this is the 8 gig right here. So what we're going to do again is to go to the configuration and choose multi partitioning. So I use a boot partition of 500 meg so I can put more stuff in it. Okay. So now. Just format it, all right? And by the way, this is the Buddhist Utility uh, 184B beta. All right, so it's done. So now we need to restore the um, 1.2 gig uh, base that we extracted before. Okay, so this one in here, we're going to restore a partition. I mean, so 3HFS. All right, it's going to take. Um, All right, it's done. So we got 1.2 gig here. So you look at this one right here. What we want to do is to resize. And in here, we're going to pull all the way through now we have to pick apply all 
Okay, so it's done. So we need to use Transmac. Okay, we'll open this one. Right. So the first thing we need to do is to copy the machine uh, kernel, um, the patch version for the uh, the Haswell. So it will automatically boot after we uh, reload. So. Click copy here. So go to Mavericks. So this is the one I'm going to copy. Okay, so first we got the machine kernel in the root. Okay, the second one, it will go to installation, system installation. Delete this one, the package alias, and we create right click, new folder, packages. All right, we better spell right, open it up. And we're going to copy here. So we go to desktop 10.9.2. What is it? And we go to the packages that we extracted before. And we're going to select all. Copy. So 4.5 gig. Prepare the EFI folder, the one that um, this utility created. So inside here is we don't need this, we don't need this. Don't do this. Actually, we need the um, HFS. We need the HFS plus NTFS. And what else? This way. Copy and paste it over here. All right. And what else do we need? On the theme, they use black and green. Um, I like to use. Theme I Clover. So copy and paste it over here. All right, and what else do I need? I need the config up list so. What we need to do is to rename the original one here. ORG. Okay. And you have to create your own. So this one 
is I want to put this one on my website what you need to do to make sure that um, the iMessage and the FaceTime work we make sure we have all of these um, this SMUU ID this one you can get it from your uh, BIOS okay so if you click on the BIOS uh, setting you will see this one and the ROM key is actually the last part of a UUID which is the um, Ethernet um, MAC address so make sure you have that this is a Haswell uh, so I use MacBook Air 6.2 and the serial number uh, you can use this one and change either these two guys and these three guys here okay so get your own the important thing is this the for Haswell laptop okay so it doesn't matter if you have HD 4400 uh, 5000 uh, use this number here all right and the argument I put this and the text this one is for Yosemite but right now we're doing the um, Mavericks. So Mavericks is the easiest one to do for the beginner. So get this one done first. And this one have. So I paste it over here. All right. Again, and then the next one we need is a kex. So this is ten point nine, right? So, kex 10.9. So, I want to select all. These are the ones that works on mine. Actually, this one is the one that works with most of the computer. Replace all. Okay, and I want to put on 10.10 .10 for Yosemite also because I'm going to use this same uh, clover. Now the clover here version is uh, 2776 I think. So if you're going to do um, Yosemite, I think you need the version higher, 2976 or 305, okay? So now I got the CAC, so let me explain the CAC in here. Here's a battery that's not really needed right now, but this one you need, this is AACI. USB 3.0. This is a real tech uh, 8160 68 Ethernet. And this one is a trackpad. Uh, this one is Synaptics. And this one's created by uh, Rehab Man and also the battery here. And also this one too. All right credits to him okay so ACPI patch 
So what I'm going to put here, this one is the one I'm going to have to put, um, the one I extracted from uh, read write everything. Uh, so yeah, there's a, a video I made on how to do that one too. So I'm going to put my DSDT over here. All right. So we're almost done. Ready to boot and install Maverick. Okay. When we want to change uh, from Clover 3 over version to the newer version, like this one here, 3.05, actually all we need to change is these two guys here, copy them over. And then also the boot. Yeah. So when we update it, just take these. It should be okay. But anyhow. So let's see if this one's done yet. No, it's not even done yet. Change order, send disk. <coughs> so this one is Mavericks. See the face. Alright. So if it does reboot, that means the patch kernel is working. And it's the external USB storage. So I can install it in here, but I have to erase it first, okay? Now, don't touch anything in the original one terabyte because you can't 